Hi friends and welcome back to Marvelous Friends, your home for all things Marvel Cinematic Universe and beyond. My name is Rhett and I have an unboxing today from the Marvel Collector's Corps. Roll that intro. I have joined in the Marvel Collector's Corps, or Corpse, or however you want to pronounce it. Again, I'm not really sure how people pronounce it. I pronounce things funny. Um, this is a box that I am paying for completely out of my own pocket. It is not a sponsorship. They are not gifting it to me in any way. I am just simply subscribing to it because I enjoy it. Um, I have, of course, subscribed in the past to Pop in a Box, which is a completely Funko-based one. I am no longer receiving that one. You can see those videos, um, and I explain why. I've also subscribed to the Loot Crate box. I have not received it yet at this time. And I'm actually technically filming this at the end of December. Um, and they've charged me for the next box. I'm not happy with them. So we'll see how that plays out. But let's go ahead and get on to the boxing for today, which is, of course, the November holiday edition of the Marvel Collector's Core box. Um, so, yes, this comes in November, which most of these boxes do when they're the holiday edition so that you get them before Christmas. Of course, it is now after Christmas when I'm recording this, um, but that's fine. We don't have to tell. I do know that this box is put together with... Um, well, you buy it through Amazon, but you it's done with partnership with Funko, so everything is Funko design. I know that's some people's big issue with that. I cannot peel this tape off. I don't have my knife on me. Um, but so everything has that Funko aesthetic, which some people find really annoying. I don't. I really like Funko's aesthetic. I collect them avidly, um, as you know from this channel. Um, but yeah. So first and foremost, we have the card, which I will come back to at the end, because I like to be surprised. On top, we have a wearable, a shirt that looks to be, I'm guessing, a t-shirt, but done to look like a Christmas sweater that says Infinity Gauntlet, with all the stones and the gauntlet done in cross-stitch printed. I like that. I like that a lot. Definitely expect to see that on the channel at some point, especially around the holidays. I wish I had that to film this video. It would have been perfect. But I really like that. I like the pattern. It's something that you don't necessarily see all the time. I know there are a bunch of Marvel and superhero based themes when it comes to shirts, but I like this one a lot. I like that one a lot. Next, we have a little white box toothpick holder. Toothpick holder. It's a shot glass. I just enjoy that companies have to say that um, because, you know, you can't say shot glass when it's being marketed to kids. Um, but two toothpick holders. One is, these are both based upon the Christmas collection. So you have Thanos in his winter sweater um, and his gauntlet and all that stuff. And then the Snowman Captain America, which I will be honest, was the only one of this Christmas Funko collection that I considered buying. And I might still find it if I find it. In, on sale anywhere else. I honestly, I already can see what's next in this box. Um, I was not a big fan of the Christmas collection. I didn't buy any of them. And people asked if I wanted them for Christmas. I said no. I don't know. I like the truer to version ones. I'm not even a big fan of all the random Deadpool ones because Deadpool has quite a few Funkos that are him in funny costumes and doing things like, which is very Deadpool um, aesthetically, but I just don't like those. I like the more traditional costumed ones, the ones that are directly referencing from the comics or the movies in some way, um, rather than the Christmas ones. But speaking of, um, we do get two Funko Pops in this one, and they are exclusives to the Collector Core. So first one is Holiday Groot. And he is all, I know that there was a general one, but this one he is, um, all tangled up in the lights and the ornaments, and he is in a Christmas tree stand. So let me get this out real quick for you guys. Um, so yeah, it's a bobblehead Groot. I wonder how well he stands up. I'll have to test that. And like I said, he's covered in Christmas lights and ornaments, and he's standing in a little Christmas tree stand. I do actually like this a little bit more than the Groot that was the general public one that was massively released. Um, so I 
I'll take this one. Um, I do have quite a few of the Groots. Okay, he does stand up pretty well. I'm always... Always nervous with the bobblehead ones. Some of them stand up just fine. Some of them don't. I honestly prefer the ones that are pivoted. Um, and I always find that the male um, Funkos stand better than the female ones. Um, and I wish I had more of the stands to be able to put those on. Um, all right, so this is... Oh, I didn't show you guys first. But this is Thor. Um, of course, exclusive for the collector's core. And it is Thor, but his hammer is wrapped like a Christmas present. So honestly, if you really weren't paying attention, you probably wouldn't even notice that this is Christmassy. Um, yeah, so Thor, as you can see, Molomir is wrapped as a Christmas present. It even says on the little tag for Thor. If it will focus, it's not going to focus on that. But this one's pretty subtle as far as the Christmas saying goes, um, which isn't bad. I'm just not a big fan of the Christmas ones. I, I, I said that, um, but still, they're very cool. I'll add them to my collection. They'll come out at Christmas time. I'll put them out this time of year. Um, I already have, I actually have, I don't have the traditional elf on the shelf. I have Funko's elf on the shelf, which I put out at Christmas, so I'll add these to those that come out during that time. And that is going to be it for this box. So, yes, we have the Vinnie Gauntlet t-shirt, the... Funko Pops of Christmas Thor and Christmas Exclusive Groot, and then the two toothpick holders featuring Captain America Snowman and Winter's Festival sweater um, Thanos. And then, of course, we have the next theme hint, which is the Fantastic Four. I'm not surprised that this is what the next one is, especially at the time that I'm filming this. The new wave of Fantastic Four Pops have been announced, so that is very on good timing for when this is going to be coming out. Um, I know there's a whole new collection of them coming out as part of the big um, 80th for Marvel. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that one. Hopefully it should be coming here soon. It's the January box. I'm filming this at the end of December. Um, so I'm hoping pretty soon. But that is going to be doing it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, definitely I'll have pictures of all these items on my Instagram and on the Facebook page. So follow me and give me a like both on Instagram and Facebook at Marvelous Friends YouTube. Of course, make sure you subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. I always appreciate it. And definitely ring that bell to get the alerts for all my future videos. But until then, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a marvelous rest of your day. Bye, friend.